Supercar Saturday is an event for the Mission Mode Sport beneficiaries and people from Help for Heroes. They get to enjoy some high speed laps around the Anglesey circuit in some amazing cars. The safety car is pretty special too. Here we are on the grid just before the start of the race. This year over 40 teams entered the race of remembrance. Car number 8, the Lotus Exige, got pole with an impressive 1 minute 43 seconds, qualifying over 1.5 seconds clear of P2. As you can see, there's a real mix of cars and classes, which always makes for a lot of overtaking. If he's going round and his lap times are good, leave Matt there for a little bit. You want him in, give him an in, and he'll come in. But if you're ready for him, go an upside down T on the board, in that bottom corner, it's really prominent. Shine a torch on it. Genuinely, shine a torch on it, because it's really hard to see. Shine a torch on it, and he knows that you're ready for him. And away we go. under me that follow my instructions, keeping the pit lane safe, reporting all these drivers for doing things they shouldn't be doing, <laughs> um, just basically keeping everything safe and sound. It's been a good weekend, thoroughly enjoyed it. Excellent, well good luck for the rest of the race. Yeah, no worries, Thank thanks you. very much. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. What's that called? Speed tape. Speed tape, there you go. We're in the TWP garage where everyone's getting ready for the driver change. Each pit stop has to be a minimum of four minutes. When the car comes in, it gets very busy. Different parts of the cars get checked like wheel nuts, brake pads and fluid levels. Tire wear is checked and the wing screen is cleaned. After that, refueling can begin and no one else is allowed to touch the car. Then the driver gets in, seat belts are fastened and off they go. We are three hours in and as you can see the conditions are getting a lot harder for the drivers as there is a safety car. But that won't stop them, they've got three more hours to go and that's it for today. See you tomorrow.
remembrance service takes place in the pit lane and is when everyone thinks about those that have fallen. This is an emotional time, which makes me happy for our country, but sad for those that have made such big sacrifices. The safety car, also known as the bobby car, is where people place their wreaths. At the end of the service, James Cameron always shouts out, Let's go racing! The service is over and the drivers are getting back into their cars, getting ready to go racing again. I like the race of remembrance because it's full of exciting overtakes with cars competing that are fast and slow. There are classes to make it more fair, but the overall racing is brilliant. So behind the scenes, um, because we're a university team, uh, the students have the cars at the university. So they prep the cars, they maintain the cars, and they fit all of our new parts before the race. Um, we then bring them here. Uh, so there's a lot more work that goes on behind the scenes than just racing. Is this the, is this the first time your whole team has raced together? No. So we've been racing together the whole season now. So we have done all of the 750 Club Enduro series, uh, which are ranging from two to three hours um, of racing. And then we come here for our final race of the season, which is obviously the 12 hours racing. So it's our biggest race of the season. Uh, in terms of the team, this is the best the team has ever worked before. So we're really excited. Um, and we're pushing and pushing and pushing to get the best result possible. Where are you at the moment? So at the moment we are currently third in class, okay, but we've had a bit of a class switch around. Uh, we've been put up a class because we were far too quick for the original class we've entered for, even though that is the right class for our engine size uh, and output. So we're quite happy with third in class currently. Um, Teams run really well. The last pit stop we did was the best pit stop I've ever done. All right. Good to see you, Vincent. Yeah. Nice to see you, mate. See you, bit. Sop Monkey Steph made some special limited edition Sop Monkeys for this year's race, which my brother helped sell. This year the trophies were made up of two parts, a piece of track which belonged to a small highly mobile armoured fighting vehicle which b many of the Mission Motorball beneficiaries would have seen active service in. The other part, which place details were in the style of a dog tag. I think they looked really smart. My sister, brother and Sock Monkey Steph helped put them all together. After an incredible 358 laps in changeable conditions and almost 12 hours, the race of remembrance is over for another year. The lead didn't change in the last hour with the Caterhams coming first, second and third. The winning team, and I have to say this carefully, was Sofa King Fast. Well done to them. The Mission Motorsport Honda CRV came an impressive third in class. My good th friends at TWP also came third in class and I've seen some great racing and I thoroughly recommend you coming.